dog shows held throughout the year around the country, many of them are outdoor shows. So the dogs are actually very used to this setup. This is show day like, like other show days, except for it's Westminster. <laughs> Their first instinct is to compete and they know what they're doing. They feel that these rings are their rings. Like we, we like to think that we're, 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 we're guiding them, but they really are competing and they'll do it on all sorts of ground. Every emotion goes right down the lead. If you're anxious or nervous, they're gonna feel it. So most you know, handlers understand calm, cool, and collected. But then when that spike of excitement, if you are the one the judge points to, the dogs know it and respond immediately. There's a star power to every winning dog. And, uh, and it's different. I mean, every dog has its own temperament. Every dog has its own turn. Every dog has its own sense of humor. as many dog shows throughout 2020 as there normally are. But that also allowed for the preservation breeders to have some litters. They had time, they were home. And so there were dogs, more puppies, that were uh, brought into people's homes. We always encourage people to do their research before bringing a breed into their home. And part of the Westminster mission is breed education because it's really important to know the history and the temperaments of those breeds and what they're originally bred to do. That then helps you know how to train and work with the dog. If you know that your dog was a herding dog or if you know your dog was originally bred to be a ratter or a guard dog, that will help you as the owner learn how to work with that dog. We've been around for 145 years. We've lived through, we lived through another pandemic. Uh, we lived through wars, uh, and 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 we've moved on, and we've done it in a in a way um, where the community really has been able to come together. And uh, and dogs, you know, if you think about what happened over this uh, over this pandemic, um, everybody got a little closer. Companionship meant more. And when we're doing Westminster, what we're showcasing is companionship and this bond, this connection that people have. I don't care whether you're a judge that's impressed by a dog or a handler that loves a dog or that junior handler that's just getting to learn how to manage the dog. So for us, we, uh, you know, we look at this as a, as a sort of testament to resilience.